now let's go ahead and fire up the server and we'll check it and see if our search is working correctly. All right, so we're actually not building, so we will not continue. And let's go ahead and see what's happening here. So in our search controllers, in our results, um, we're actually not, we actually have a situation where not all of our code paths are returning a value. So, and that's because we're not returning a value at all. <laughs> so we need to make sure to return view and pass it our search result model. All right, so now this would be a good time for another commit. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start the server. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is with the browser open, I'm gonna go ahead and set a breakpoint now. So we'll head back into our search controller and I'm just gonna set a breakpoint on the post method. And now we can provide a search. And what we should really do is also um, create some new posts for different forums as well. Um, but this will work as kind of a first test here. And so we'll say matplotlib. Okay, so if I hit enter, all right, so we're getting the suitable constructor type for our search controller cannot be located. Uh, that's because I made the same mistake last time and counted on Visual Studio to make us a public search controller um, when, of course, it makes a protected search controller by default. So let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, and while we're here, we'll also clean up our directives and we'll go ahead and start the server. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and commit that change as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and run another search here, and then we'll go take a look at what's happening in our code. So we hit our breakpoint, and we're passing our search query for matplotlib here. And so I'm gonna hit F10, and then let's go up to the results action here, and I'll set a breakpoint and hit F5. Okay, so we're gonna step into this method now with F10. And so our post service goes out, and it gets a set of posts. And we can see that it's going to return this one post. Uh, it's grabbing the post that contains the title using matplotlib. And so I'm going to hit F5 now. And so, yeah, so we get our very simplistic uh, search results page back. And if you look at the URL, you'll also notice um, that we have this sort of query parameter here, uh, search query, and the search that we performed. So that's pretty cool. We're missing some stylings here. Um, but I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to hold off on creating more of the styling here until close to the end of the series and we'll take care of it all at once. Um, so from this point on, we're going to go ahead and wire up the rest of the functionality for the app and do things like set up our cloud storage and Azure database hosting and then eventually also deploying our app to Azure app services. But the next thing I'd like to dive into, I think, is some of the logic surrounding our users. So we'll create user profiles here um, that users will be able to edit and upload profile images to. And we'll set that up straight away with um, cloud storage for the images. So this should be a pretty interesting module.